Stopped forward by Edinburgh. Ulster advantage well picked up by Tom Port on the run. By Porter. O'Connor. Vandenberg. Advantage over for Ulster. Now Porter. Chris Henry. Release. Plenty of men on the far side. They could do with moving this wide. Also, that's better. O'Connor changes direction again. Rory Best. Vandenberg all on his own. Heads up, Rick. Well, they're lining up Edinburgh on this uh, narrow side. Tom Court again gets across the cane line. Porter. Good strong run by Paul Emmerich. Taken by Craig Hamilton. Porter again. Here's Ferris. Rory Best in the outside half position, just Throw drives forward. Throw away. Referee telling Edinburgh to get away. This is better for Moses. Darren Cave has a go on himself. Great run by Cave. Terrific run by Cave. Held up, but he makes it. Second try of the season by Darren Cave. And that's the one that might just make it three victories in a row for Ulster. They made pretty heavy weather of it after the opening 20 minutes. Darren Cave. Absolutely. I mean, Darren, there's a lot of ind individual skill in this score, but if you look at the hard line that uh, Witten runs back, just creates the space. Edinburgh probably would be a little bit disappointed with that defence, but uh, great pace from Darren to score. Yeah, it was disappointing. If you have a look from an Edinburgh perspective, Alex Grove, he just got cut up, but the show and go, how important is that? Just a s suddenly a hesitancy in the Edinburgh defence. You take your chance, and both Ian Whitten in the first half, for example, you know, he played well, gave right round his man, and it was a, just a classic outside break. Great, great to see him backing himself and going on the outside, I think, as, as I say, rather than just hitting it up. Yeah, they're a good so combination.